For Vlogging Day 1015, I just want to say to all the haters out there, why? Welcome to day 15 of my 20 and 20. I was about to say 15 and 15. Not getting off that easy. Today we're gonna to be doing the 15th Arani's Mountain Terrace, which is famous for not a whole lot, actually. It is often misconstrued as being the one with the Eiffel Tower in it, because you can see the Eiffel Tower next to it, which is what the first thing I'm gonna show you today is. We're taking a particular metro route today to show you a very famous shot that you too can accomplish if you just take line six from Passy to Bir Hakim. Now the trick is to make sure that you get a seat with a window. You can obviously shoot through the doors, that's fine, but if you can get a seat with windows, pull the windows down. You're gonna be going from Passy to Bir Hakim, and you wanna be on the left-hand side of the train. The better shot is coming from Bir Hakim to Passy. Bir Hakim's actually in the 15th. Then you can be on the far side. You can make sure that there's no train that goes between you and the tower, but that's basically it. There's no shame in going back and forth on this line uh, if you want to get multiple shots, don't worry about it. Also, congratulations to Pushan for getting a thousand subscribers. I'm gonna go back this way. But if you haven't subscribed to Pushan yet, you should go do that right now. Thank you. And thank you all for coming along from Jay's channel. If you go now, go jump on it. I'm gonna link to it. And uh, we're making something together as well, so you'll catch that when you post it. But go check out his uh, thousand subscriber video, it's great. Now, we're down in the bowels of the RERC. Actually, we're nowhere near the bowels at this point. It gets even more bowel than this. But we're on our way out to the Balloon Generale. This is one of the great secrets of Paris that you might see from the distance while you're here. But there is a hot air balloon. Their website claims it is the biggest hot air balloon in the world. Uh, <laughs> anyways, if you jump, where is this coming from and why is this happening to me? If we're going to jump on RERC and head just a few stops towards Versailles uh, to try the balloon. The thing about the balloon is that it's very weather sensitive. They use it for air pollution testing and they do let people go up in it, but only when the weather is very favorable. If there's wind and I think rain, they don't send it up. So there's a chance we're going to get there just to be turned away, but worth giving it a try, especially considering how the weather looks right now. If we do, great. If we don't, that just means we get coffee faster. I forgot entirely, but there you we'll show you later. There's a Statue of Liberty that you can see as you leave the city. You're not even leaving the city technically when you see it. Yeah. So the city. So it's not looking good for a balloon ride. The lights are on this thing right now, but don't see any people. I think that that booth over there might be where the tickets are sold. You can buy the tickets online as well. Just didn't do that because I figured since our odds were so low that we'd be going up and also because we'd be getting here early enough. You know, just buy them in person. But look at the fun, uh, the fun car lights. Looking good. Oh, Thanos. There you go. 
since my skin is too dark. We're doing <laughs> we're doing we're doing the virtual experience because the uh, the the real balloon experience is currently unavailable until Monday because of the weather. Moi je vois rien. Parce qu'en fait, il y a un capteur en haut du du casque. <laughs> How do I look? Well, that would have been a lovely experience. Oh yeah, that's much windier than when we went in. Uh, the VR experience is definitely a nice taster for what someday we will get to enjoy in person, I'm sure. But she was really nice. She was the best customer service in Paris right there. We caught a Space Invader before catching the Metro. Now it's time for Good News Coffee. Good News Coffee, by the way, in the game. If you're playing the game, make sure to go get your stickers from them. I'm just getting coffee. Ooh, and their double chocolate cookies. Yes. You all just love the game. <laughs> Off. Seriously, I was trying to say you have to get the triple chocolate cookie. It's the, the most delicious. We're gonna go see the park here. I exchanged Pushan for Kate, or Kate for Pushan. I don't know actually what the order of that is grammatically. And uh, Kate for Pushan. Kate for Pushan. And we're gonna go check out this park. And then there are two more things in the 15th I really wanted to highlight. And we'll see what we discover along the way. Unfortunately, the fountain is not on, but this is a really nice little park. Very pretty. Does not look sports friendly necessarily, but uh, definitely picnic worthy. On to the next thing. Gare Montparnasse, which is one of the main train stations in the city. I did not bring you here to see the train station, but the Tower of Montparnasse, which is, as many have described it, the box of the Eiffel Tower came in. Not particularly well loved in this city. It does have a really nice observation deck, which I will link to over here. I made a video about views in Paris, or views of Paris, and it is one of the better views of Paris in the sense that you can see the Eiffel Tower, and it's interesting. And you can't see the building. And you can't see the building. Bonus points, but it is not a great view because it's too high, in my opinion. Any view that you want to get of Paris needs to be closer to rooftop level. You still want the Eiffel Tower to be above you, and so it's not my favorite view of the city. I, don't, I think it's a little bit overrated, which is why I will not be going up there today, because I've already done it. You can go see that if you want, but we can at least come check it out and show you the area, because the area's also got a lot of shopping, lots of food, movie theaters, all kinds of stuff. It's a very lively neighborhood. <laughs> It's really good. Which cafe? What's the name of it? It's called Dream Cafe. Dream Cafe? Yeah. Okay. We can try to go. We can go over there. Okay. We finally found some gilets jaunes. We've only been out here like every weekend for uh, like two 20, months. <laughs> yeah. That's too many. But uh, yeah, we found, found a little bit of the march and the cops are following and we're going the other way. You rec Kay recommends the Bouillon Chartier. Yeah, because there's one in the ninth, but this is the second one, and it's less busy out oh. than the first one. So there are two of them, okay, right by Tour Montparnasse, and then the Dream Cafe, where is it? Is it over here? Yeah, it's All right, really we'll, go, we'll go scope that out, and then avoid that. It's a really popular afterwards spot. This is your after drink location? Yeah, it's happy hour till 11.30, and they're only five euro cocktails, and three euro beer. Sounds like a winner of a happy hour. I don't drink. Uh-huh. 
All right, we're dodging the, the rest of the gilets jaunes here. It was a very nice, peaceful little walk they had going, some music, I don't know. I'm gonna lose this one, she's gotta go have lunch with a friend. I'm gonna jump on line 10 and head back. I'm actually leaving the 15th right now, gonna take the long way. Go back on line 10, and I wanna show you one last site that a lot of people don't know is here, and even the people that do know is here, most people don't ever go see it, so you get your chance. Also, I'm wearing my hat backwards because the wind blew it off, and <laughs> it seems like a safer, safer route to take. I don't wanna go chasing my hat twice in one day. This part of town is probably not so interesting for tourists, but it is kind of interesting for people that live here, at least on this side of town. If you live in the 15th or maybe across the river in the 16th, Beau Grinnell is a nice little shopping area. There's a really big mall over here, as well as just kind of tons of just everyday shopping stuff, whether it's buying a cell phone, going to McDonald's, doing your grocery shopping, going to Darty to buy yourself a washing machine or a vacuum cleaner or something like that. Not an area that you would really want to come and visit if you didn't live here, but you know, it's also not bad. The one thing that you do want to see though, that's very close to here and the reason you might come here is just over here on the river. Let's go check it out. Statue of Liberty, ha ha! It's the biggest Statue of Liberty in town. There are multiple around the city, uh, but that is the biggest. If you find them all, congratulations. Not only does this bridge take you to that and have this really nice long walkway all the way over to Bir Hakim, which is the bridge we started the morning on, which you'll see, I'm gonna take a shot of it here at the Eiffel Tower, but you have nice shots of the Eiffel Tower from here, which are lovely. Get the trains going back and forth across them. It's great, it's really windy out here today. Hopefully my fuzzy cat or dead cat is doing its job and making it possible to hear me and understand me. But that is the 15th in a nutshell. Not a ton going on, but up and coming with some really nice coffee shops, a couple nice things to see, and river access and Eiffel Tower shots. So still highly worth it. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever it is you are, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for day 16 of my 20 and 20. See you tomorrow.